Oh, there's no food. Sorry, go eat outside or something, please. Again, you quit your job, so do things at home. But you should stop making excuses. Um. <sighs> I'm Emma. I got pregnant after living with my boyfriend, William, for six months. What? Why? I always protect myself. Oh God, I remember two months ago, the condom broke and I said I can't continue, but he insisted. Oh, I should tell William. William, there's something I need to tell you. Hey, what's up? Well, I think I got pregnant. What? I just used the kit and it said I'm pregnant. Wow, what should we do? What should we do? It's our baby, so we have them. Can we? Of course. Thank God, he seems happy. Emma, what are you gonna do about your job? I'm gonna keep working. Are you sure? Isn't it better you quit because you are pregnant? But you don't have to worry about money, so just stay home and relax. William, I got a question. You want me to give birth? That means we are gonna get married, right? Of course. Good. Glad to hear that. He kept talking about having the baby, but didn't mention about the marriage. So I kind of got worried. We gotta see each other's parents, but I will be busy at work. So can we do that at the end of next month? Isn't it late? You think so? Well, tell your parents from you first. Okay. The way he acted kind of bothered me, but he was happy about the baby, so I decided to believe him. It should be fine, but I was wrong. Two weeks later. Hey! Oh my! You slipping again! I feel nauseous. It's hard to just stand up. I hurt you yesterday, but you are staying at home. So do some house chores. But it's hard. I had terrible morning sickness, so I often took off from work, and William just nagged me about it, rather than being nice to me. Oh, there's no food. Sorry, go eat outside or something, please. Again, you quit your job, so do things at home. But you should stop making excuses. Um, <sighs> since I wasn't feeling good, we didn't talk about marriage at all. Moreover, I told my parents that I'm pregnant. William, are you listening? I am, but I'm tired. I don't want to talk about it right now. Hey, do you really want to get married with me? <sighs> What's that supposed to mean? I'm so stressed out about this situation. What? I didn't know you were that much lazy. You've been sleeping all day since you got pregnant. But there's nothing I can do about it. I got a baby. Still, you were sleeping too much. I said you could quit your job, but I'm so annoyed if you keep being lazy at home like that. That's so mean. Who's mean? I feel like I was betrayed. Where are you going? I don't feel good when I see your face, so I go to my parents' house. What is that? Whose baby do you think I have? If you think like that, just go to hospital and get rid of the baby. Huh? Actually, I don't need the baby. I think we should end here. Are you kidding me? He really didn't come home. Next day, he doesn't answer my phone. He's even not reading my messages. Are you serious? I got your baby. What should I do? I got no information about William's parents, and I didn't know who I should talk to, so I asked my parents for help. What a jerk! How could he treat my daughter like that? Exactly, I can't stand him. Who put my baby in the situation? Mom, Dad. I got William's parents' address from our mutual friend and went to their house with my dad. William's dad runs a company and William grew up in an upper-class household. I heard what happened from William, but I don't think his feeling towards you will come back. Right, you should give up the baby. What's that? Who do you think my daughter is? Do you understand your son got Emma pregnant? Sure, I understand. But William said he doesn't love her anymore, so it's better they break up as soon as possible. 
Emma is still young, so she can find another guy. I feel sorry for the baby, but let's pretend it never happened. What the heck? You don't want to be a single mom, do you? He will pay the surgery fee to go to the hospital as soon as possible. William, that's who you really are. Yeah, I thought I could get married with you if you could think about me more. But I don't like lazy girls. Ha, <laughs> okay, I won't give up my baby. What? What are you talking about? Are you gonna be a single mom? Yes, so you gotta acknowledge the baby. What are you talking about? No, you can't do that. I can't let my son have a kid from a different girl when he get married in the future. Emma, stop the bullshit. I will never acknowledge the baby. Once it's proved that you are the baby's biological father after the DNA test, the law will acknowledge the baby as yours. What? How could you say, let's pretend nothing happened? Of course, I can't. There's life in here. And you said give up the baby so easily. It's already the 15th week. Do you know getting abortion right now is risky? I mean, the baby is your son's kid. So basically, you guys asked me to kill your grandkid. Do you understand how cruel that is? But you don't know if the baby is really William's kid? That's why I'm saying let's do the DNA test so it'll be clear. Emma, let's go home for today. We should talk to a lawyer. Dad, we'll go home today. But we'll come see you guys again. Let's go home. Wait. My dad suddenly pulled me to get out of the house. What? I still had things to say. Are you sure you want to raise the baby alone? Yes, I searched and considered. Then I thought I don't want to lose the baby. But that's the jerk's baby. But that's my baby. Okay, well, I have an idea. Then, stop trying to request the acknowledgement of the paternity. Why? You don't want to let him have the responsibility? It's not bad. I thought maybe having this acknowledgement can be risky in the future. What? You should completely cut them out from your life. Since he looked very serious, I couldn't say anything. One month later, I gave up requesting the acknowledgement of paternity. I followed what my dad said. Instead of requesting acknowledgement, I got alimony for breaking off the engagement. Wow, this much? I saw almost $10,000 in the document that covered the cost from William's parents' savings. After talking with them, I felt like they are dangerous. It's better to have a distance as much as possible from them. If you say so, I was a bit frustrated, to be honest, but I understand what he said. If I really think about my baby, it's better to cut out the dangerous people. Imagining William is happy about not being required, the acknowledgement made me angry, but I accepted the result. Hey baby, even though you don't have dad, I'm always by your side. Ten years later, I'm raising my son, James, as a single mom. There were some problems before he was born, but he became a healthy and kind boy. I'm home! Hey! You came home early today, mom! Yep, I'm making your favorite curl case. Yay! Oh, by the way, I watched my grandpa's house today when I was coming home, and he was arguing with someone. He was arguing? Yes, I wanted to stop by his house. But I didn't feel good about it, so I didn't. Hmm, I'm worrying about him. Let me call him. He's not answering. I'm worrying. I'll go check him. You stay at home, James. No, I'm going to. But I won't disturb you guys. Hmm, okay. I went to my parents' house with James while feeling anxious. The person James told me had already left. I came hurry after listening to James, but I'm glad it looks like there's no problem. Mom? Actually, William's family was here. Huh? Well, Mom told me that they said they wanted to request the acknowledgement. William seems like he could not have kids anymore because of sick or accident or whatever. Ah, <sighs> I see. 
His mom apologized so many times and said he wanna see her grandson. Um... Please, we need someone who carry our last name. Please let us meet William's son. My company started from my grandfather. If we don't have grandson, nobody in our family can run the company anymore. I don't want to ask somebody else to run the company. What does Emma do now? She's still single, right? I will propose her. They were crazily desperate. Wow, the bastards. But once your dad talked to them, they became quiet and went home. What did he say? Well, did you guys forget this document you signed 10 years ago? We're not going to interact with each other anymore, no matter what. And if we break the rule, we pay $300,000. $300,000? After he told them about it, he left so quickly. I guess they had forgotten about the money. When they remember they signed the document in front of the lawyer, they looked so pale. I let it slide this time, but there's no second chance. If they come again, I will request the money. Dad, you knew this would happen from the beginning. That's why you were against the acknowledgement. No way. But thank you. I feel so much better. Mom, I'm hungry. All right, let's go home and eat dinner. I'm glad that I cut out William from my life at that time. Whenever I see James smile, I'm so grateful that I decided to have him.